Hey everybody, welcome back to the ST3D video. Like always, I'm VJ. So lately, as you know, I've been on like this little quest to find the perfect PLA at the right price. <clears throat> I've been through so many already. I've reviewed two or three so far. I have so many sitting that I gotta get to. But today, we're going to be talking about the TNC. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. It's TNC or Tansy uh, Professional Printer Filament. So this one right here uh, was recommended to me by somebody in my group uh, like earlier. And this one right here, if you notice, it actually says high purity, continuous line, no clogging. But like I've said it before, never trust what's on the box. Always go by what your prints look like. So let's go ahead and get started and to see if Tiancy or Tansy 3D filament is correct as far as their labeling. Is it really high purity? Is it really non-clogging? And is there a continuous line that goes through? So let's find out. So this is what the filament looks like on the inside. Uh, it comes with a little cool design, little spool right there as you can see. The label is right on the front, white, temperature uh, 190 to 210. One thing is pretty surprising, not a lot of filaments put the base plate temperature on there. Um, on this one you can do about 30 to 50. So I normally do 65. So I'm assuming I shouldn't do that. So I'll try according to what this says and then I'll do it my way and then I'll see what's going on. But as far as the white, it seems pretty vibrant. Um, has some good color to it. One thing I did read about these uh, PLA is their colors tend to be really, really good. Again, packaging on both really well. Labels are right in the front. The black is just black PLA so let's go ahead and get started printing with these guys and this way I can go in more in depth on how this filament performs so after a few prints uh, this was my final result right here this actually came out pretty darn good I think uh, not bad for 0.2 layer height it's pretty badass um, so this is one of the pieces here as you can see I didn't have any issues with this one here and the other piece to it which I'm really happy about is this one right here so this one <clears throat> if you notice the details on it it's I mean it's amazing it really came out pretty good as you can see the prints are not bad at all now stuff like this this was because of supports that I had to remove so that was actually me scratching it up but besides that I mean I think it came out pretty good so that's the other piece that I printed and also this one is my favorite one if you notice the lines right here I mean it's pretty straight and they came out pretty sharp as well so that's actually pretty darn good. So I got that piece and of course I printed a little trigger which is right here. Goes at the bottom. So here are the things I printed in the white PLA. I had to turn the light down a little guys because it was actually reflecting off the white. So so you can see here I had a few issues here with the uh, uh, with the zitting but um that was due to high temperatures that I did in the beginning. This was a separate print from the black uh, PLA that I used. So that's why I was still new with this one, testing it out. But as you can notice, everything is pretty good. It's not that bad. This one is probably my favorite piece because once I've dialed everything in, now these were just supports, so ignore that. But I mean, if you look at it, I mean, this thing is pretty smooth. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this thing came out amazing and again this is all printed at 0.2 so not bad at all so I, I really like it I like the way it turned out and I like the way this 
film it worked out for me given that this was only my second print so what was my first print my very first print was the infamous Marvin I always like to print these because it has a circular uh, figure to it and I like to see how the PLA uh, reacts to it and how well it bonds together again being the very first one I had some heat issues there but besides that I mean this thing printed very well very very well actually so uh, besides a little zitting here because of the heat the feet I mean that came out basically smooth as you can see here it's no issue with it at whatsoever so this was my very first print that I did uh, with this PLA and my second print which I also feel came out pretty good is the Cade statue or figure whatever you want to call it uh, the base itself not too bad again I did have some heat issue in the beginning but after that if you notice from the boots on up I kept adjusting the heat as I went and I feel like it came out pretty good of course there's a few uh, support issues that I got to still remove uh, that are still on there the only thing I didn't like about it is the thumb I don't know if you can see it it didn't come out as well as I expected but besides that it's not bad I mean even the details came out pretty good if you look at the gun for being as small as it is and now keep them in mind again point two that's what I printed it at and so overall probably give it a nine out of ten uh, especially since this was my second print and I was just experimenting with it so I really do like so in conclusion guys for the price that you pay for the filament and the quality that it prints it's not bad at all the colors are pretty good uh, the white's very white bright, bright white the black is black um, the good thing I did like about it is there's no issues with it whatsoever in the sense as far as strength this was printed at 3% and I can barely crack it so 3% infill that's not bad uh, this one was printed at 4% infill. This one I actually did 15 on it. Um, but the parts that I did print, it actually does move once it's connected to the piece again. So, not too bad. Uh, my recommendations, if you haven't tried this filament out yet, I would recommend that you give it a shot, especially if you're budget-friendly, as I was doing these tests. So... Well, I hope this video was helpful, guys, and uh, like always, if you have any questions, comments, leave it down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you want to see new content on this channel, go ahead and subscribe, and like always, remember, good luck and happy printing.